Good evening, welcome back to episode five. I know what you're thinking, this guy again, he's going to put out another one. How many more of these videos is he going to do? I don't know. There's a lot of them coming. What can I tell you? When there's that many glaring differences, one has to point it out, I guess. Uh, I know you're getting sick and tired of it. Maybe some of you aren't, but I'm appreciating the support I've had out there so far. And I'm appreciating the hate mail coming my way, so I appreciate that too. Somebody's going to tell me, um, how can you appreciate hate? Because I appreciate the fact that you took the time. You made the effort. You made the effort to try to uh, attack me. And I've got no issues with that. I'm thankful for it. But I want to get right into it this evening because I'm telling you, we have so many things to do. But I'm trying to keep it under 15 minutes. I've said that before that I promised to do so. Uh, tonight's video, I'm a little confused on this one because I'm just kind of curious why repentance is not important to some folks as much as it is to others. Much as it is to others. Well, I had to try to get that sentence out, huh? Well, when you're trying to get it out in 15 minutes, I'm trying to speed talk here. All right, let's get straight to it. KJV, the King James Bible. We're going to start Matthew 9, 13. Please open up your Bible. If you have the ESV, please do so. Open it up. If you have the King James Bible, please open it up if you have to. If you have to. If you have one. All right, Matthew 9, 13. But go ye and learn what that meaneth. I will have mercy and not sacrifice. For I am not come to call righteous. I'm sorry. I am not call, come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Let's jump over to ESV now. Matthew chapter 9, verse 13. Go and learn what this means. This is the ESV now. I desire mercy and not sacrifice. For I came not to call the righteous, but sinners. Clearly, anyone's allowed into heaven. No repentance, according to the ESV. In fact, I dive into that in uh, Mark. I have another episode coming out with that when we talk about that in Mark. Um, boy, taking out repentance. Um, why? No Greek word. They just added that in the King James, even though the other Bibles agree with it. So why is repentance missing? I wrote here, but we're going to go go ahead and answer this. To answer this, we have to go to the previous verse, 9, 12. In that verse, the word whole is in the King James, and it is replaced by the word well in the ESV, inferring that there is a physical issue, when in reality the word whole infers spiritual issues. And in 9, 12, we've got the King James open here. But when Jesus heard that, he said unto them, they that be whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. I'll tell you, I know uh, ESV uses physician in in that verse, and I'll, I'll, I'll give it to him for that, because the word doctor didn't mean what it means now, if you do the history, but we're not going to go through all that right now. Whole means to make complete. And repentance is how we do that. But as I wrote here, don't worry, Matthew 9, 13 matches the West Cotton Horror 1881 New Translation, or New Testament, which was a new translation. Why change these things? Why take out repentance? Seems like an odd thing to take out. Well, the earlier manuscripts don't talk about repentance there. I find that very hard to believe. It's in the Wycliffe Bible in 1382. So 1382, I might have my year wrong. And Tyndale, I remember Wycliffe and Tyndale predate uh, Martin Luther there, so it's not like a, some kind of reparate, Reformation conspiracy. Why take these things up? Repentance is kind of a big deal. I'm just saying it's kind of a big deal. So what would be the point in taking it out? Well, easy. Nowadays, if you look around, what's going on? Oh, sinners, you just got to believe, man. You don't have to repent from your sin. Just believe. Just believe. Just believe. Easy believism. And some say you don't need repentance. You just need works. Work salvation. 
Why take a repentance? Somebody said, what's the big deal? Well, that's a big deal. If you notice in all these videos, you are never going to see me. I don't think I will. I will never be talking about the these and the thous. That is what the NIV cult likes to do. That's what the ESV only is like to do. They like to go, well, you know, <coughs> they're worried about Matthew 5.17 and some of the archaic English language. And nobody says, you know, old or an O-L-D-E. Um, I think my wife was actually brought to my attention the other day, and uh, I could have been another version, but they changed old to elderly because old was a complicated word to understand. Elderly made more sense. Oh, boy. Were they just trying not to be offensive to old people? Guess what? Old people know they're old. Find me an old person who doesn't know they're old. They don't like, yeah, I'm getting elderly. They don't, you know. I've never heard of that. I live in down here in the south. I don't hear that. I hear getting old. Oh yeah, getting elderly. Remember, there's a copyright law that they have to change certain things or a certain amount of things and have to twist it a certain way to be able to consider themselves a new version. You gotta, you know, the scriptures, the Bible tells you to search the scriptures as the Bereans do. Yet none of us do. Well, my pastor says. Well, my professor says. Uh -huh. Yeah. What does the Bible say? Oh, well, sometimes that changes because it depends on the version. And sometimes all the versions match up. And as we've talked before, 94% of ESV happens to match the ESV. Interesting, isn't it? Today is a pretty short video, but... Do you think repentance is a kind of an issue? Now, I guarantee you, if you go to an ESV church or any of these uh, modern buildings who hate King James readers and just are just so anti King James and just they have this fervor foaming at the mouth. Now, I came from an NIV cult, so I know this. They're like, oh, those KJV people, they're so ignorant and so stupid and archaic. They're such a minority. Well, if they're such a minority, why is it such a concern to you? Isn't that funny? There's such a small amount of people. Why are you so worried? Well, you have some apostles, some disciples who changed the world. Maybe sometimes it's fewer the better. We all know many will be called. Few will be chosen. You think two, three billion people in this world are going to heaven? Come on now. You can't really believe that. Read the Bible. So they say, you read the Bible. You're taking it out of context. Okay, well, prove me wrong. I mean, I love a lot of people with the original Greek. And no one wants to put up the original Greek, though. They never want to do it. Of course, they never want to admit that, that they don't have the original Greek. Or the original Greek could be wrong. I've said this before about Nestle and Allen. They go back to Bruce, Bruce uh, Metzger and the rest of those guys. You go back to Eugene, uh, I think it was Nida. Nilda, whatever, the linguistics uh, professor who changed the whole dynamic, you know, formal and uh, formal equivalence, dynamic equivalence. It's amazing how the 20th century is when you had such a huge change in these new versions. They found all these new Greek transcripts. Well, if you found all new Greek transcripts, why do you happen to match with 1881? They found Dead Sea Scrolls are after the 1900s, right? So we found Dead Sea Scrolls change it, but then it matches with 1881. We found all that we now understand the Greek more than we ever did before, but it matches the 1881. In fact, uh, Nestle and Allen, Allen or Allen, however you want to pronounce that uh, name, they got the, the door basically busted open by Westcott and Hort. So when that door got uh, busted down, they're like, oh, this is beautiful. Now we're in. So they come in and they start changing Greek. The funny thing about them is uh, Nestle and Allen, and I've said this before, that they had, I think it was the 25th edition. I, I got to remember to write this down. Where is it? I got to write this down So next time I talk. So please don't quote me. But it was the 25th edition that changed it. It's like, this is what it means. And this, this is not has nothing to do with Texas Receptus. In the 26th edition, they, they omitted it completely. And then the 27th edition, they put back in the Greek word that matches exactly with the Texas Receptus. Texas? I just said Texas. Um, so how did that change? They literally went back. 
How can you continue to change the Greek when you don't have new Greek that you're going by? Well, you need to do your research. I get a lot of this, you need to do your research. Well, I did. I have. Now, have I was I able to research everything from Greeks back all the way back? Do I have every single uh, every single tiny piece that I've searched for? No. You need to learn the original Hebrew and Greek. Well, I guess there's a lot of people going to hell, huh? Because the majority of your people in the, this country don't know Hebrew and Greek. So you just, by that sentence load, in my opinion, you'd say that they're all going to hell because they don't know the original Hebrew and Greek. That's a that's a awful thing to say. Well, I hope you, uh, to watch this video, I'm hoping you will agree that repentance is pretty important. I look forward to your uh, comments, as I always do. And by the way, I'll get to comments as fast as I can. I do mean that. I try my best to answer them as I go. Um, a lot of you know that I work for a living. So unlike some people who just take money from people who don't, don't work for a living, uh, I believe a man should work for his food. You know, the Bible tells us to do so. So that's just my opinion. I say that a lot all the time because I find it frustrating that – you have people out there who sit around all day and do this, and I don't have a lot of time to do it, but I'm getting it out there. If you care, you'll take the time. You go to work every day, but that's that's just me, and uh, that's how I feel. Nope, we all don't have to agree on that, but that's where I'm, I'm at. But I will answer as I can. I don't duck anyone. Nobody's uh, said some comment that I don't want to answer because I feel offended. I'm doing the best I can to get to each one of them. So, and I appreciate the time that you take to write to uh, write to me, to make the comments, good or bad, doesn't matter. I'm still here, every day, every episode. I'm not running nowhere. I'm willing to have a, 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 a civil dialogue. I won't have a debate because debates are fruitless. Debaters just want to prove their point, and they don't want to listen to a point. If you want to have a discussion, I'm in. If not, I'm not in because you're not interested in truth or trying to uh, uh, seek a better way or uh, lack of better words or even have any understanding. You just want to spew hate. And as a King James Bible guy, we don't spew hate here. You and I be only us do. And some of those modern buildings and modern cultish, modern Bible folks, they do. You know, it's funny, you know, LGBTQ, a I F C three two C three P T O. I don't know. They're the ESV as well. Weird. Just saying. I'm not saying everybody's a lesbian. Or I'm just saying. All I'm saying. I'm gonna awkwardly end this video now because, as usual, I hit that end recording, and I never know if I gotta hit it twice. Well, I do, but it never comes up right. So, as always, God bless and have a beautiful week.